Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Um, today is August 1st. Crazy. I can't believe it's August already. I don't know where the summer has gone. Um, we are finally in some nice, comfortable days. Uh, here in Michigan, the weather has been beautiful the last couple days. And it is not as hot as it has been, so that is nice. I thought I'd do my video out here today. Um, and yeah, I had a goal for July to do two videos a week and I accomplished that goal. So I thought we we're just going to keep going with it. So I'm going to try to get two videos in every week. Um, and some of them may be shorter than others. Um, just depends on what, what's going on and what I have, have happening here at the farm. So, um, let's hop into this today. I have just a couple things. Um, first of all, I wanted to address a question on my YouTube channel or a comment actually, and I thought it was a really good one. I'm trying to catch some of those. Um, I have been responding to all the comments and things on my channel um, and giving answers to the people who are asking them, but on those really good questions where some of you might benefit from the answers to those questions, I'm trying to remember to bring them up here on uh, my videos. So the question was, um, she said, I have a rabbit question. I see on another rabbit YouTuber, water cups are better for rabbits. The reason being the rabbit doesn't get enough water from bottles. Do you have any input? Not looking for hard rules, just real life experience. Thank you again for sharing your journey. Um, it's a great question. I am, so those of you who have been here for a while know that I am always hesitant to say that this is best or this is best. And I say that because everybody's different and everybody's experience is different and everybody's setup is different and everybody's um, thoughts are different on what's best or what's not best. So um, I did answer that, but I thought I'd give you guys some input on that. So water bottles versus Crocs for the rabbits. Um, I have been raising Angoras for 20 years, um, almost 20 years, and I have always, I have always used water bottles. Um, now that's not to say that that's the best way to do it. Um, I have never used Crocs. And keep in mind, um, and I've repeated this over and over again, but it does make a difference. Back in the day, pre-social media, pre-YouTube, um, there was, the information was out there, but was it, it was in written form. So it was blogs and it was magazines. And I don't think there were as many opinions out there then. I know there weren't as many opinions out there as there are today. And so... Um, when I started, I started with water bottles because that's what, as far as I knew, and I never had raised animals before, um, and I had just, that's what I started with. And I have not changed a lot of stuff. <laughs> I find myself, um, more recently even, thinking, you know, there's probably some stuff that I need to go back, and I tend to get in a rhythm with things, and that's what I've always done. And... I don't change and so there's probably some things in my life in regards to the animals that I probably should do some research on and go oh yeah maybe I need to look at that but um, for me the the water bottles just isn't one of those things um, and again this is coming from my point of view I have never used Crocs so I don't know but my thoughts with it are um, and also, I never, I try never to say that you have to do things one way or the other. Um, it's kind of interesting. I was watching, this is off the beaten path a little bit, but not really. Um, I was watching a newer urban homesteader, I guess is what she calls herself the other day. Um, I was watching one of her videos with chickens. And I've done chickens for 20 years also. And prior to that, my grandparents had a farm with chickens. Um, okay, sorry about that. Somebody was singing in the background. Um, so, um, I've raised rabbit or chickens for 20 years. And prior to that, my grandparents had a large farm and they raised chickens for both meat and eggs. And um, this 
the home starter that I was watching said, the first thing she said is that you never ever put their food and water in the coop with them. It always has to be outside. And I had never ever heard that. Um, now maybe I need to go back and do some research, but I just have never heard that and I've never done that. My chickens water and feed have always been in the coop with them. Um, and my thinking back to my grandparents when they had, you know, they raised hundreds of meat birds at one time back in the day. Um, the feed and water was always in the coop with them. So I'm not sure she didn't go into detail as to why she said that. Um, and maybe some of you will have comments below as to why that would be something you would choose. But I'm always cautious when it comes to animals and saying that you have to do thing, things one way. Um, so back to the rabbit water bottles. Um, I have only used rabbit or the bottles. I've never used Crocs for my rabbits. A couple thoughts on that with Angor rabbits. Um, first off, I have most of my feed um, bins or feed cups for the rabbits are hooked to the cages because no matter what, those rabbits are going to spill it. I even have a couple that um, get up underneath the hooked ones and rip them off the cages. So uh, the thought of a crock of water being in with my rabbits, um, I don't think that'll work in, in that sense. Now I do have a water bowl out in the colony along with two water bottles um, in different areas. So the, And I do see them drinking out of the, the bowl. It's like a dog bowl. It's a bigger one, um, but I also find it spilled on the ground sometimes. So that's my first thought is that the crocs would easily get spilled. And with 20 rabbits, um, having to check, I feel like I would be out there checking water crocs all day long. Um, the other thing is with the water bottles, they hook on the outside of the, f the cage and that I don't have to worry about them. Um, and they don't take up space where the crocs inside the cage would take up floor space to some degree You know, they're not huge and even um, if you have and I know they have water crocs or feed crack crocs that can be hooked to the side of the cages um, which leads me into my next thought with Angor rabbits is No matter how much they are groomed um, there is always fur um, after I finish grooming them or trimming them down, shearing them down, whatever I'm doing, there is still going to be fur. And so my thought is, is that the water crocs would, to me, collect a lot of that fur and fiber, um, and they'd end up drinking it, I feel like. And so that was the second main reason why I don't use the crocs. Um, and I'm not looking to change. I, I don't, I can't think of any reason why it would be better. Um, I do check, um, obviously I do chores in the morning, fill everybody's water bottle up, and then in the afternoon I do a check, and then in the evening I do a check. So I'm always checking water bottles and making sure that they are full for the rabbits, um, which you would do with a croc too. But again, I would be concerned that they would spill them or um, whatever, or a gift filled with fiber if that makes sense. So those are my thoughts on that that question. Um, I did want to show you too, water bottles tend to be a bit expensive. The last time I looked at TSC, I think they were $12.99 for the water bottles that I use, um, which this is not something you buy all the time. Once you buy it, um, you can keep them clean. Some of the water bottles I've had out there, um, I've had for many, many, many years. I, at different intervals throughout the year I will bring them in. I have enough where I can flip-flop in the winter. I don't have this as much anymore with the buildings we have now but it used to be that the water bottles in the winter months would freeze up about halfway through the day and so I always had a second bottle for everybody so I have like 40 bottles right now. Um, because of that I don't need it here because of the building being so insulated I did not have any issues this last winter with any frozen water bottles um, but to get I did find these on Amazon I will put a link below um, I got a six pack of the brand name is Critter Brights 
Um, so these were on Amazon. Again, I'll put the link down below. But these were um, six bottles, and I think they were $52, right around $50, which works out to be $8.30 some cents um, per bottle. So I'm saving about five bucks a bottle by doing it in bulk rather than um, going to TSC and getting the singles. So that's something that um, can save on a little bit of money. If any of you have other um, bulk purchased water bottles where you get them from and it's different than that, put it down below and let me know because I'm definitely interested in that. Um, some of my bottles right now I am, since I got those, I am in the process of throwing away some of them um, because they are pretty. Some of them are beyond the point of cleaning them. I usually put like Dawn dish soap in and use a, a bottle brush and do that and then I put them in the dishwasher. Um, and even that, it is sometimes hard to get all of that out. So yeah, so there's a tip for cheaper bottles. Um, the next, or the last thing I want to talk about here, I do have a shop update coming. I am in the process, um, as you can see next to me here, I am outside shooting pictures this morning um, of all of my in-stock stuff that I have left over from my last show that I did. Um, and so I am in the process of putting, getting pictures done today and I'm going to start the process of putting everything online um, on my shop and that link of course is always down below. Um, so I have multiple, I have a lot of jewelry because that I enjoy making the little pieces. Um, and so I have an accumulation of a lot of jewelry right now. I've sold a bunch, but I have a lot left. Um, I have hats, which we are coming up on that season again. So I have some full Angora hats, which this one is, um, and this one is also reversible. And then I have some pom-pom hats, um, and they are going to be on the website and I have a ton of yarn. Most of it is going to be one of a kind yarns. Um, a lot of this is my stuff. So I have a lot of Angora here. I think I have, I don't know, there's four skeins here of Angora. And then I also have four or five in my office that I have done recently that I need to get um, measured and um, washed and measured and priced out. And so the Angora is all going to go online and all of this that I have, the one of a kind um, colors and like a, this is Cordell Alpaca. This one, I can't remember what it is. I'll have to look it up. Um, and I have some art yarns that I'm going to be putting up. But this, a lot of this comes from small farms like myself, small farmers. Um, and I order subscription boxes from um, Crafty Housewife Yarns and they have a small farm subscription box. And um, so this is all small farmers throughout the United States. And so that's what these are gonna um, be. So all of the colored stuff. I think most of my Angora this time around is natural color. Um, yeah, all the ones I have. That's another one. Uh, this is Merino. So this is all hand dyed by the farmers also. So all of my Alpa or my Angora that's going on will be natural um, colors. I do have to spin the green that I dyed in the last video. I'm gonna spin that up and I'm actually gonna blend the, the two greens that I got off from that. I'm gonna spin it all together. I'm gonna cart it together and spin it. And that one will probably be going online too. So the next um, two or three days, today I'm taking pictures and then I'm going to start listing everything. So if you're interested in any of it, make sure to check the shop update. Um, I didn't bring any of my jewelry out and I should do, I should have brought some of it. I do have a pair of the earrings on today. I have a lot of um, bracelets, cuff bracelets and earrings that are available. Um, just to give you an idea and these make excellent gifts for yarny people um, or jewelry people they're extremely unique and super soft they're all angora they're um, lightweight 
and they make for great gifts. So if you have a birthday or something like that coming up or even getting ready for the holidays, these would make excellent gifts for someone, very unique um, for that person that you don't know what to get, but maybe they're into um, you know, unique stuff, artsy craftsy things. So I think that is all I have for today. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Again, um, all of the links down below is where you can find me, Instagram, Facebook, my website. Um, when you go to my website, there is a little pop-up that you can sign up for the newsletter. Um, and yeah, if you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope you're creating something.